Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make stuffed cabbage rolls. It is a common dish to the cuisines of Balkans, Central, Northern, Eastern Europe, Azerbaijan and Iran, as well as West Asia and Northern China. It is also very popular in some parts in the Middle East. So let's get started. For this dish, of course, we're going to need a cabbage and I have a medium sized head of a green cabbage. We're also going to need a very sharp paring knife. So what we're going to do, we're just going to trace that core and stick in our knife all the way through pretty much just making a very deep incisions without taking the core out. Then get a large pot with boiling water so we can fit the whole um, head in there. And we're going to put it with the core side down. And as this cabbage is going to start cooking, we're going to be um, able to remove some of the outer leaves. So maybe remove just four or five and keep them on the side so they get a little bit more tender. And then continue cooking your cabbage. Then get a tray or a large plate and just line it up with a paper towel or a towel. So we're going to take those leaves out, uh, the ones that have been uh, cooked, and we're going to line them uh, with more paper towels just to remove some moisture. And we're going to continue cooking our cabbage hat until um, all these leaves are removed and completely cooked and tender. And then just repeat the process of lining them up with the paper towels and guys don't worry in my house everything gets recycled so those paper towels are going into a recycling bin then when you removed all these large leaves that we're going to use for stuffing you're going to be left with this core and we're going to use it also and i will show you how to make a filling, we're going to need some rice and I'm using this medium grain rice. We're just going to wash it very well until the water runs clear. We're going to put it in the pot and put one teaspoon of salt and we're going to pour hot water, boiling water over it just to cover the rice. And the reason we pour in the hot water uh, or boiling water because we need this boiling process to start right away. And when it started, we we need to set the timer for exactly six minutes after six minutes we're gonna close the lid and we're gonna keep it under the lid for another three minutes after that just drain your rice and let it cool we also gonna need two large onions and the onions we need both for our filling and also for our sauce for our saute that we're gonna make to cover our stuffed cabbage rolls we're just gonna chop the onion fine and uh, we're gonna prepare the skillet with some um, combination of butter and some cooking oil maybe a tablespoon of butter and a table two tablespoons of cooking oil and then we're gonna drop our onion in there and it looks like it's a lot of butter but guys we have a lot of onion to fry and we don't need to caramelize it as soon as we just get some color to the onion it's done then of course we need to season the fried onion with some salt and pepper then we're gonna kind of pat it down so we can divide our fried onion in half because as i told you one half is gonna go into our filling and the other one is into our sauce we also gonna need three medium-sized carrots and just simply grate them we also gonna need five cloves of garlic and i'm gonna press the garlic I found this garlic press guys on Amazon it's absolutely amazing it just does the job all the time if you're interested I will list down um, below the link where I got it but it's very very good garlic press I'm also going to use some canned tomatoes and those are the best. They're called San Marzano. They have tons of flavor. We're just going to reserve half a cup of that tomato um, puree 
and we're gonna just smash the rest of the tomatoes into pretty much paste and we're gonna use it in our sauce as far as our fresh herbs I'm just using parsley and dill uh, and we're just gonna chop it very very fine and we're gonna use it both in our sauce and also a little bit in our filling and the fresh herbs of course add tons of flavor to any dish so try to use as much as uh, as you can of fresh herbs to make a sauce for this dish or a dressing, uh, we're gonna need a large skillet. We're just gonna drop our grated carrots in there. Just give it a quick saute, and then we're gonna drop our half of our fried onions in there, and then just saute it uh, together. And um, we're also gonna add some fresh garlic that we pressed, and also mix it. And at the end, we're going to add our San Marzano tomatoes, which is going to make our sauce absolutely delicious. Then just seasonings, as far as the seasonings, they're not complicated. It's pretty much just salt and pepper and just some fresh herbs like cilantro and dill. And that's it. You don't need to saute this sauce for a long time because it's um, also going to be cooking along with your cabbage rolls. So as long as everything comes together, your sauce is done. So just set it aside and we're going to start on our filling. For the filling, I'm going to use a one pound of beef and one pound of pork. And I think a combination of these meats makes the most tender and delicious filling then we're gonna add half of the amount of our sauteed onions and a quarter of a cup of that tomato puree we also gonna add our cooked rice which is about half and a, uh, a cup and a half some salt and pepper uh, some fresh herbs and then we need some water also because the rice is only halfway cooked so that water or that moisture in the filling is going to help us to cook the rice when the rolls are going to get steamed then that pile of steamed cabbage leaves we're going to turn upside down because we're going to start with the bigger ones the ones that we removed first and because um, the little ones we can always get to as we start rolling the rolls and we'll see how much filling we're going to have and if it's going to be enough for all the leaves we have prepared. So you need to trim the, the thick part of the leaf so it becomes a little bit more pliable and then you're going to put a generous amount of that filling in um, the cabbage leaf and you're going to just roll it like a little parcel and roll it tight so they don't come apart when they're steamed. If you noticed in the title of this video, this dish in Russian called Galupci, and there's an interesting story behind this name. Back in the 17th century, one of the French chefs that worked for a Russian aristocratic family made a dish for them that involved uh, wrapping in the cabbage leaf a whole pigeon. And pigeon in Russian pronounced golub. Therefore, the name was created. And of course, the commoners picked up that um, dish and they used the minced meat instead. Then after the cabbage rolls are ready, they usually steamed in the pot uh, with that sauce that we made. But I'm going to use a tagine, guys, <laughs> because tagines are quite a unique invention and it will produce a lot of uh, uh, juiciness to our dish. And that's what we're looking for. And then we can use that little core that we capped as a little bed for our cabbage rolls so they don't uh, get burnt uh, when they placed in the pot or a tagine in my case and you're gonna place some kind of tight next to each other and if you have empty spots just fill it up then we're gonna put some sauce on top um, of the first row 
and then we're gonna continue building rows and of course that jean is a little bit more shallow than your regular pot so I was only able to build two rows and that's how much leaves I had and if you have an empty space there and you have some of the filling left and no cabbage leaves left then you can just make little meatballs and just put them in there and let them steam a steam with the rest of the cabbage rolls then we're gonna place a generous amount of that sauce on top of our creation and um, this is gonna get steamed for 45 minutes uh, almost an up to an hour and our cabbage rolls after that are gonna be completely ready in the meantime you could lift up your or check your pot and make sure you have plenty of liquid in there so they don't get burned and if you don't have enough liquid just add a simple um, water maybe half a cup of water Traditionally in Russia, cabbage rolls served with some sour cream, but I'm gonna use some creme fraiche today. And also I'm gonna sprinkle some fresh dill on top of our cabbage roll and we can taste them. And uh, guys, to be honest with you, I can eat those all day long. They're so delicious. So I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon.